Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I am talking about Supergirl season number three, episode number six, Midvale. This episode is directed by Rob Greenlee. And here we have Kara and Alex. They're going back home. They're going back home to see their mom and to also recharge. Alex is going through a bad relationship, right? going through a bad breakup. And she's feeling a little bit down. And you have Carol, who's still not over the fact that she can't she can't be with my L anymore. And even though she's going there to help Alex, she needs to help some help too. Because see, Kara has a tendency to push her feelings down to help other people, but she doesn't really focus on herself. Even though she doesn't really do it that much this episode here, but she does get a little bit of time to heal as well. And this whole episode was just a flashback. I thought it was. And it was a flashback of Kara and Alex and them becoming sisters. Because, see, Alex didn't like Kara at first. She felt as though she was a nuisance that came into her life that changed up her world. And she had to change everything for this new alien thing that came into her life that she, just, that she didn't want, didn't ask for. And now she got to cater to her. And that, so she's kind of pissed. So she's kind of pissed off about that. And Kara is trying to be sister, be friends, at least friends, friends with Alex. But she's pushing her away, so she said, well, screw you, I'll, I'll do my own thing. So you've seen them, how they learned how to come together in this, in this um, episode right here. And you see how they became the sisters they are now. And, and during this flashback, you get to see um, Kara learning how to, well, Kara using her powers to help save, help someone. And to pretty much stop a, a crime. And and, and and you see them working together to solve this to, to solve this crime and to save the day. Cause you see them as the team, like a pre version of the team they are now. And I said I really enjoyed this episode a lot. I mean, I, I it was sweet, it was touching. Um, watching the sisters learn how to like love one another, learn how to get along and work together. And you also see, and you also, and, and I also have to say, I enjoy the person, the, the people, the two girls who played young Kara, young Alex, and the girl who played young Alex, I mean, young Kara was um Isabella, um, uh, Von Dovic, Von Dovic, and, um, and the young girl, girl who played young Alex was Olivia, um, the Cannon, and I think they did an amazing job, especially the girl who played young Alex. I think she pretty much had her tone and her voice and her mannerism down. Perfectly, and I said, "Oh my God!" Even sometimes when I'm listening to her talk, I'm, I'm thinking, I, 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 "She is Alex." Oh, it was weird. And then watching these two, two sisters like working together to solve this case was just great. Even though the, the mom was there, uh, uh, um, Eliza, played by um, Helen Slater, she was there, but she didn't. They didn't even focus on her too much. But her her performance that she was did was fine. I, I, I didn't I didn't hate it. But just watching these, watching this, watching these flashbacks with the two young girls, because because even though because the older versions of the, of them wasn't wasn't in it that much, mostly this whole, this whole episode was pretty much a, a huge flashback. Yeah. Now, only thing thing about this episode that I thought was kind of weird was the fact that John was in it too. He's he, he's part of the flashback because he, Kara used her powers to save her sister's life because she's about to get killed, and so this FBI agent came to the house to stop Kara. From using her powers and exposing herself, but she, but the thing is, though, the, the API agent looked just like her mom, exactly like her mom from Krypton. Now I, I figured it was it was John, but I, it just left me a whole lot of questions. Like, how did John know what her mom looked like, and why didn't Kara ask? My mom is not even from Earth, so how in the world could somebody from Earth look exactly like my mom from Krypton? That is physically impossible. Like, wh what? That's just weird. Yeah. The, the, I kept thinking, did John know what her mom looked like? How did he know, he know what her mom looked like? Now, he did. Now, they did reveal that they had her ship. At the DOA, but they couldn't like unlock certain things because they didn't have her Kryptonian DNA or whatever. And she that's how she was able to unlock it. Her, her picture of her, picture of her, um, the, that computer image of her mom came up. So did they see it? So it just left me a whole lot of questions now. I thought I thought part of the episode I thought it was just weird. I mean, it was nice to see, and I thought it was kind of sweet. But uh, and I understand where he was coming from. He's trying to help her and keep her safe, but it was just odd. It didn't seem right. 
I just, I, I, I couldn't think of this. How would he know what her mom? Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Either who. Overall, I did enjoy this episode a whole lot. I, I enjoyed this little in, uh, in this little look inside of um, the relationship between um, Alex and Kara, and seeing how they started and how they are now. And I and I enjoyed it. It was sweet. It was sweet. Now, that, that pretty much it. that's pretty much it. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Supergirl. And if you haven't watched it, just check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. What the, I don't know anything. Just check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy having fun watching it too. So leave my give my channel a big old like, the thumbs up, mm, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. A uh, peace out. Uh, peoples.